Good morning. <coughs> so this is van in living room mode. Um, the bed is up. The bedding is behind here. Uh, and yeah, I've got a two-seater sofa, I guess, with some nice cushions on there. Ugh. I can stretch out. Oh, lovely. Um, I can just sit with my laptop on or uh, something. I do have a table that fits here, but I just didn't really want to carry it around with me. Uh, I'm just putting the kettle on, as you can see. Um, I have a coffee. It's early in the morning. It's about 7am. Uh, about 20 past 7. Um, I got up early because um, I'm going to pick my daughter up and then go to work. I just thought I'd let you see things in a different way. I've, I filmed... Um, my last video with the bed down so basically it's got a catch under here I pull it out and then the bedding's rolled up so all I have to do is unroll it and it's all there ready which is quite good <coughs> and also you can see a bit more now it's there's a bit more light it's quite dark in the back of here anyway because I, I deliberately made it dark because I, I guess that matches my soul <laughs> so <laughs> everything's dark grey um, so it's not brilliant for light um, if I turn the lights on again, there you go, I can see a bit better now. I don't really like having the lights on, they're a bit off-putting, I don't know. Oh, they're quite bright, quite nice. <coughs> yeah, so anyway, so this is my living quarters. There is, um, obviously the camera's quite close, but there's quite a lot of room back there. If I was, if I was about four foot tall, I could probably do a dance uh, in the space I've got. Anyway. Uh, I uploaded yesterday um, by uh, going to McDonald's and using their Wi-Fi and at first it wasn't working and I wondered if it was some some sort of connection where you couldn't do too much but anyway in the end it worked fine and it uploaded the maybe like a eight minute video in about 20 minutes which is all right for free so that's where I'm gonna be going now anyway I work across the road from McDonald's actually I'm back at work in the office uh, next week, so actually I'll be able to upload there. But also, if I'm out and about, I can just go to McDonald's. Kettles. So yeah, I can just upload there. I, I think I, I went into a few coffee shops uh, recently, uh, just to use their Wi-Fi and uh, have a drink and stuff. So that's what I'll be doing from now on. Uh, I've not. I know that this is something that everybody seems to know about that live in, in vehicles and stuff, but I've never really tested it myself. I'm never that cheeky enough to connect to the Wi-Fi somewhere, which is probably why my uh, data plan on my phone is so expensive. Um, but now I'm on that. I'm, I'm on the Wi-Fi in McDonald's, and I, I do spend a lot of time in McDonald's, which I shouldn't do, really. I am trying to lose some weight. Uh, unfortunately, over the last couple of weeks, I've probably eaten more. Um, I've had more financial freedom. Uh, I've been so busy with work that I've, it's just been easier to grab something on, on the way. Other updates for you. Well, I just wanted to check in, really. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this a regular thing. Uh, and maybe um, on other days I'll have something more interesting to talk about. But I'm also going to be going to be doing a uh, question and answer thing. So if people want to ask me any questions, um, then... I'll make a video where I answer all those questions also because again this is something that particularly in the UK people don't t seem to do too much I've not really seen much of a community especially around this area as well I've searched the internet for um, for other people um, that live in vans in the UK because I could do with some tips on where to park apart from this place where I am now which is beautiful uh, I just could have done with some more, maybe meeting some people that do a similar thing. But I can't really find anything. I see vans parked up and think, oh, I wonder if they're living in that. Uh, but you don't just go knock on people's doors, do you? That's just silly. Anyway, um, I'll do another van tour uh, as well, soon enough. Uh, and also maybe get get my daughter involved in that because I think she, she quite enjoys um, the novelty of the van and uh, showing people around. What I've touched on before 
uh, about this being a choice. I mean, I had a meeting with, a, well, meeting, I say a meeting, it's not really a meeting. He's a business friend, but also his friend, so I, it, last night it wasn't a meeting, it was a a chat with a friend. <laughs> it's very difficult. Yeah, anyway, so I had a, a, a chat with my friend yesterday, I went to meet him for a drink, which is why I uploaded yesterday. <clears throat> and he was, um, bless his heart, he was really concerned and um, he'd heard the news that about my relationship uh, ending and was really concerned and he actually uh, is a letting agent so he has lots of houses and flats and apartments and things uh, at his disposal and he said right I'll get, I'll get you somewhere I'll get you somewhere and I said well actually I'll, I really appreciate it <clears throat> but that's not what I'm looking for and I think he found it difficult to understand why I didn't want a house but that's just because he's always He's in that business and he's always lived in a house. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's strange. I really think people don't understand. And I understand why they wouldn't understand it because it is a bit weird. And it is a bit, you know, it's not the ideal life. Well, it actually, for the last few weeks, it's been the ideal lifestyle. It's been brilliant. I can't fault it at all. Um, but for a lot of people, they don't really understand it. The main positive about other people's reactions is obviously they think that I've just got no money uh, or I'm poor or I'm homeless but that has its benefits in that um, people are bringing me food <laughs> so, and I like it when people cook for me so yeah people people are bringing me food which is brilliant I've had some people at work bring me dinner uh, and then offer to make me food and I'm never going to turn down free food because the, at my work there are some amazing cooks so yeah, I, I get I get lots of food, <clears throat> which is not going to help my diet. I've still not signed up to a gym. I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm, I'm not one of these Love Island looking blokes that uh, wears these V-neck vests and all that and shows off. And, and that's what I, that's what I think people who go to a gym look like. <sighs> And I'm just not that confident to just walk into a gym and start like doing all that. And I, I need to, don't get me wrong, I need to do that. But I'm not that kind of guy. So I've just been showering at friends' houses and uh, uh, at the swimming baths and stuff. Um, I could go swimming more, but swimming seems quite expensive. Uh, unless I can find some sort of uh, annual pass, which is what I was looking for. But the local swimming baths that I... Uh, bear with me. The, the, swim, the, the local swimming baths that I went to with my daughter on uh, over the weekend, um, they just had like a money off thing where it was three pounds off. But it was still like eight pound every time me and her went to the swimming bath. So it's going to be eight pound a week just for swimming. Which I don't mind paying, but, but you know, I'm I'm, if I can cut costs, then that just means more money in the bank to save for a rainy day. And probably more gadgets and, and, and equipment that I don't really need. Um, which is something I'm already considering. I'm, I've already got money in my pocket. Uh, burning coal in, in my pocket. <coughs> anyway. I am uh, uh, waffling again. Some of the people that uh, are in this area where I'm staying. Are all lovely. I don't doubt that for one second. But they're sort of hovering around me like, like I'm some sort of invader. I'm not, again, I'm not that confident. I'm not confident enough to just go out and say, Morning, neighbour! Or anything like that. I, 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 the last house I lived in, I lived in for two years and, and barely spoke to my neighbours. And In fact, when I saw my neighbours outside, I wouldn't go outside. Because I am socially awkward and, and actually not interested in making new friends. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, so this is like um, a typical morning for me, not just talking to myself uh, in my van on my own, but just getting up. Uh, it is a little bit chilly this morning, but I think that's just because I've been under the duvet, and the duvet is boiling hot. I need to sort out getting a carpet down. I, I, I've always wanted to put a carpet down, but I ended up putting like a laminate flooring down, so it was easier to clean and sweep out, but it's cold on your feet. So I'm going to try and put some sort of carpet down anyway. <sighs> so yeah, typical morning for me, uh, wake up, uh, I put the kettle on, when you put the kettle on, obviously you put the gas on, it takes the chill out of the van, 
so it warms it up a little bit but then I've got a cup of coffee as well as a, an added bonus so little things like that you don't really normally take into consideration and uh, it is it's something that helps quite a lot um, as for anything else I mean it, it's easy <laughs> this is easy this is easy because it's it's just somewhere to sleep. Like yesterday, I worked all day. Uh, what did I do after the, after work? Then I went to see my friend, uh, which was a half business, half friendship uh, meeting. Uh, and then from there, I had to go to a fundraising event, uh, which I was there till probably 8.30. I drove back over here. It was already dark, parked up. And then by that time, I, I, I was in bed and I was ready to go to... Well, not ready to go to sleep, but... Catching up on social media and uh, uh, I, I watched a, a, some videos and that's it. So I, I'm not in my van all the time. I, I'm just in my van at, uh, of an evening, really, uh, and, and in the morning. So again, some people don't really understand that. I think that I'm just trapped in this small space all the time. This small space is is good. It, it actually feels good being enclosed. It feels comfortable. It feels safe. Um, but. I'm not in here all the time, I, I am working a lot. So I don't park here permanently, it's not like a caravan where I just leave it here. I sleep here and then I'm go gone. Uh, I'll be gone in an hour. Um, I'll maybe catch up on some more uh, in internet things. And then uh, I'm off. But anyway, main thing is, uh, I am uh, going to do this Q&A thing. Uh, I'm not really sure I've got uh, a big enough following yet, but I've, I've just got uh, I've just hit sort of 520 uh, subscribers, which in a few months I've had a YouTube channel for a few months doing other things, uh, uh, but yeah, it's, it's it's starting to creep up. Uh, so yeah, hopefully enough people will be interested in asking me a question. It can ask me any question. I'm not going to guarantee that I'll, I'll answer it if they're inappropriate, but um, I'll try and answer them even if they're inappropriate. But yeah, ask me any question. Just write it in the comments. And then, uh, maybe not the next video, but I'll, in the future I'll write all these questions down and then I will uh, I'll answer them on, on video uh, as honestly as I possibly can. And then that way you might learn something about my way of doing things or my way of thinking or it might and if if you if you're if you're somebody that I I know or don't know that um doesn't understand why I would choose to live in a van then maybe it would educate you a little bit as well and, and get and make you get to know me a little bit better and I'm waffling uh, as I usually do so uh if you could uh do all that stuff uh, like comment subscribe um share it if you can it'll be good uh, and then let me know uh, if you've got any questions and I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.